Now that we're able to register new users, let's begin the process of trying to log the users in. So we're currently at video five. And if you missed video four or any prior videos, you could always find the playlist right here in the top right corner. It should pop out right now. And you could find the playlist there. So in video five, what we're gonna do is we're gonna implement or pull in the sign-in manager into our controller and set up our login method. Let's open up our controller. So inside of the identity controller where we set up our register method, now we'll set up the login method. So like I did before, I set up the basics and now we need to set up the rest. And before we do that, we'll bring in the sign-in manager inside the constructor. And then we'll set up a private property for that. So whenever we want to sign in the user, we'll call on this. And then inside of our login API, if we take another look at the login model, so I'll right click, go to definition. So the username and password is what's gonna be passed in and they're both required. And the first thing we wanna do is check to see if the username is within our database. And if it's not, we're gonna return a bad request. So I created a variable called user from DB. And we're using the user manager we already used before we are already bringing that in and we're using the find by name so if the username is inside of our database we'll have a user here if it's not we're going to have a null and also let's go ahead and take care of this error here so we'll make this a async method and then also task and then add on towards the end here that should take care of all of our errors so if this is null, we wanna go ahead and just stop the user right in their tracks and return a bad request. So if the user from the DB equals null, return bad request. Now, if there is a user, now we wanna to check to see if the password is valid. So we'll do that here. And now we're using the sign-in manager and we're using the check password sign-in async method. We pass in the user from the DB the password that the user passed in. And then this is how many times, like if the user continues to fail at logging in, do we want to lock them out or not? And I set that to false. Now, if the user did not succeed, we'll get back a Boolean within this result, a property called succeeded, we'll get a false. So we wanna to check to see if the user succeeded at logging in. And if they did not succeed, we'll return a, another bad request. Now, if they did succeed, we'll return a anonymous object, and I'll add that in here. And then we'll return the result. And for now, we'll return the username and email. And also, let's go ahead and create a space here for the token. And this is what we'll return when the user successfully logs in for now. And that's all we need to do for now, setting up our login method. So you want your login method to look like this. Let's save it, and let's restart the application. And let's open up Postman. So the URL is localhost 5000 identity login. It's going to be a post. And then we're passing some information into the body. So I'll make sure I put in a valid username. And the username is Mike. Password is 1234. And we're passing it in raw JSON. So if we hit send, we should get back some information. And we did. So we succeeded at logging in. And then we also get back our username and the email. And we have a placeholder for our JOT tokens when we set that up in later videos. And now that we are able to successfully log in, let's make sure our failures are working correctly. So if we put in a username that doesn't exist and hit send, we get back a bad request and that's good. That's what we're looking for. And then if we put in a valid username, but a bad password and then hit send, we get back another bad request, so that's working as well. So we're able to log in through our API. So let's set up our SPA and see if we can log in from the front end. We'll do that next.